Now Recording. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Now Recording. I'm Matt Pitt. That's Beavers. Hello. And that's Mickey Mitch. Hi, I am Mitch. He's on a uh, phone right now because <laughs> uh, he had to pack everything up. Hey, Why I've done it before you? and you didn't say shit. Well, well you know. No, Sal I think I've called you out on being a, on a shit phone. Like having a shit mic. Why aren't you yeah. on your proper setup? Because uh, I was house sitting and uh, we're leaving tomorrow, so had to pack it up today. Okay. Oh. Uh, before we start, um, so we're going to be releasing a now recording episode that is a uh, reaction to the video. That's going to be its own now recording episode, and this is kind of like the sequel where we kind of talk about everything that's happened. I want to make a couple corrections. LS Mark is Irish, not the girl. The girl is American. LS Mark is the Irish one. So he is married to an American. Okay? I think that's uh, yes. one correction. Um, Did you say that during the stream? I think so. I, d I said it during Shot from the Point, but I don't remember if I said oh, it during okay. the stream or not. I would have pulled you up on that because I knew that. Okay, cool. Because I'm would. i just covering all my bases at this point because the chat was like, you dumbass. He's a fucking Irishman, you dumbass. I went, I went and listened to his fucking videos and he, I didn't hear much of an accent. But apparently in Northern Ireland, they're, they don't have that big of an accent. So, yeah. All right. So, let's talk Wait, about... what island is he from? Northern Ireland. Is that the Republic? The... Yeah, the one that's part of Britain. Ah, uh, okay. He's not part of the cool one. Yeah. All right, they will okay. get the Northern one back eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys... Best. <laughs> Mitch supports the IRA. I do! Do you guys know, <laughs> you guys know who Daft Pina is? No. Yeah. Uh, Mitch, what do you know about Dad Pina? He reviews animation channels and tells them all that they're shit while right. talking really slowly and taking lots of pauses. Yeah. And yeah, he, he destroys young animation channels' hopes and dreams by telling I, them that they're not allowed to do things a certain way. I have a bit of, conspira a bit of a conspiracy theory <clears throat> about Dad Pina. I think mm -hmm. he was the one who was kind of pushing this uh, LS Mark video to just stop, right? I don't even know yeah. if Just Stop actually realizes it. So Just Stop was in conversations with uh, about six people that were encouraging him to do this video, meaning he was working on the video. Uh, he would question himself. He wouldn't question it to others, but he would question himself. And then he would bring the video to what he was working on to six other people, and they would encourage him to do it. One of those six was Daft Pina. Daft Pina was also interviewed in the video. Daft Pina was also the one in the call with him just stop and LS Mark. I think he has a lot to do with this video, and I think uh, Daft Pina personally, this is my opinion, this is my conspiracy theory, that Daft Pina is using Just Stop to do his dirty work, and it completely failed. So before we get into the whole video thing, I wanted to talk about Daft Pina for a little bit because I, uh, I, I did a little bit of research. I watched a uh, commentary video on him, and I made a couple notes. Um, so, in Daft Pina's career, he attacked uh, Jaden Animations. Mitch, do you know who Jaden Animations yes. is? Yeah. Yes. Attacked Jaden Animations due to her video uh, about her face <laughs> reveal and really went after her and claimed she was being manipulative because she changed her art style during the video. Like, I guess the art hmm. looked kind of different, so, and he claimed that was manipulative. Uh, the guy, Sonny, remember Sonny in the video? The, the black guy yes. that was claiming that, uh, was, uh, claiming that the, the other person was transphobic? Sonny claims that uh, he was promised $150 for an animated animation script that he were to rewrite of Daft Pina's, uh, but was only given $45. Sonny never finished the script, but rewrote 10 out of the 15 pages and helped produce a new character. Um, Apparently, Daft Pina manipulated a minor into giving him screenshots when he was exposing an art reviewer for having a relationship with a minor. The screenshots had nothing to do with the girl and was about a totally different person who was of age. He would use phrases like, giving these screenshots could help others in the future. Uh, he's obsessed over odd ones out being racist and covered the story of a black woman who claimed she didn't want a white guy to cover her story, so he hired another black person to do to do it instead so he so this woman was like i don't want you covering my story you're white i would rather have a black person cover my story and he was like dope i'll go get a black person to cover it on my channel and he tried hiring sunny 
but Sunny did not agree with what uh, the woman's opinions were. So Daft Pina brushed that aside and moved on to another person. Uh, the, da- the black woman then claimed he uh, claimed the video on the video about the video that he had lied to her about it, and he wanted his ad revenue. Uh, to be fair, right? Uh huh. I like this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Daft Pina. Oh, not, not, no, no, the, the black dude. I like the black oh. dude. Oh, Sonny? Yeah. Wait, wait, who hates the odd ones out in Jaden animation? Daft Pina. Daft Pina. Oh, I like Daft Pina. That guy's good in my books. Okay. <laughs> I fucking okay. can't stand those two people. They annoy the shit out well, of me. Well, Daft Pina actually uh, apologized to Jaden animation. Yeah, he does this thing where, like, because his earlier videos, everyone that he would, like, throw shit at, he would then, like they would be they'd be bigger than him, and then they he then have a conversation with them, become friends with them, and then he'd remove the video. Like so, like kind of as his subscriber number elevated, he would just remove videos as he went along, as he became friends with the people that he threw shit at, and that's kind of how he grew. Yeah. Uh, this guy also claims that he's a perpetrator of hip pieces and uh, withholds contest context. So he can paint the, pe- the paint the people he's doing videos on in the worst light possible. Uh, the type of content creator who will go after someone because they said the N-word in a non-offensive context. So uh, he's used tweets where someone said the N-word, like in a not really an offensive context, just saying it, quote tweeted it, being like, oh, what's this type of stuff like that. Uh, then we got the, the Tina Fate one. Uh, this person is a Twitter artist who was pretending to be a woman, but it was actually a Filipino dude named David. When finding out the... Could be a woman? No, 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 no. He was actually a cis man. He was not a woman. When finding out the info, Daft Pina tweeted uh, tweeted threatening David that he actually had pictures of his real face, and this felt like blackmail. Also went after him because he's a 19-year-old and had DMs with a 17-year-old. Uh, Augie actually even shat on Dapina for this. He then posted screenshots that were supposed to be censored, but contained enough information so people could find David's Facebook. Uh, Rhythm Reb said this was straight up doxing. Rhythm Reb is the one who did the commentary video. Uh, Daff would later apologize, explaining his side of the story. Now, I have the Rhythm Re- uh, Red clip right here. If you guys want to talk during this, just tell me to pause. All right, I'm playing it right now. Daft then posted screenshots from his public Twitter account that were ripped from David's own personal Facebook, but didn't properly censor out enough text from these screenshots, in particular the text from one of the posts. Furthermore, the screenshots posted contained enough information for people to find this Facebook account and find personal info of where this dude lives Pause. and has lived, along with his- Yo. Does this guy also have a little animated character? Yes. Yeah, you can tell by the way that he talks. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking annoying continue matthew full name uncensored pictures of his face his family members faces and this being a facebook account it's also linked to his family members daft pina doxed this person on his public platform of thousands of followers what the fuck i know i know you've probably heard people talk about this enough already but it cannot that, be that understated was. how cool Wait, Matt, did you have the video there? What? Or do you just have the audio clip? Are you playing I just the video? Have the audio, I have the audio clip right now. Okay, because I 100%... When, it, that, when that guy went, what the fuck? There were three transitions of the anime, of the little animated guy on the screen. <laughs> what Maybe. the fuck? <laughs> a lot yeah, of a fuck up this is. Again, imagine someone like Turkey Tom, Ellis Mark, Bo Black... Anyone else in Daft's weight class doing something like this? You would never hear the end of it. But I feel like everyone talking about this has numbed everyone to the idea. Like, oh, the sky's blue, grass grows, and Daft Pina docks David. Big whoop. Yes, it is. Daft put David and his family in danger of not only harassment, but possibly even stuff like swatting. It's not like changing where you live is easy by any means. And based on David's own apology tweet from later, it's possible that Daft's involvement led to David's family being harassed or screwed with in some form. However, Daft's screenshots showed definitive evidence that Tina Fate 1 was not an Asian woman at all, but rather a Filipino male pretending to be a female online. 
I <laughs> personally saw through this facade instantaneously as their art style and mannerisms was a clear indication that they were a dude and not a lesbian woman. Okay, that was a... Uh, now, uh, Daft Pina put out a uh, apology uh, after this, and I have it uh, right here, and I'm going to read it for you guys. So, this is from October 28th of 2021. I have been reflecting about the other week as I was erratic in posting. I wanted to apologize for the things I did wrong and clarify the behind-the-scenes events. I never made a tweet about David Soar's MILF art. I am not against NSFW or people have online, having online personas. When first looking into Tina Fate 1, I saw some things that made me suspicious. I asked the community for help, and I got an email saying Tina was lying about their persona. This email cited Tina openly talked about their personal life on a public Discord and Twitter. These details about their life matched with a public Facebook of a man named David. I wanted to make sure they were mistaking Tina as someone who might not be out yet. So I contacted Tina on Saturday, October 9th, to talk with them privately about this. However, they didn't respond. I then spoke with mods from Tina's server. One mod said they had seen Tina's face, but they had made them delete the photos. Another mod mentioned Tina had always claimed she had a broken microphone, since it seemed to me one mod was close to Tina. I showed them a picture from David's public Facebook as they could confirm if that's them or not. However, the mod had never seen David's face before. It turned out David was using some woman's photos for their Tina persona. David later confirmed he is cis, or in his public apology. I had become suspicious of David, and I got anxious that there was a lot more going on. This reminded me of Lulubu, a cis man pretending to be a woman for five years on Twitter for ulterior, uh, ulterior motives. To be clear, Lulu Boo and Tina Fey One are not the same person, as I saw some people misremembering due to how close the situations are. The, the Tina person extended further than friendships. David used a woman's photos, nudes, to catfish a trans lesbian into sending her nudes. I was sent censored versions of their conversation through email. In my opinion, the sexting couldn't have been consensual since David was catfishing and used the power dynamic of a popular creator talking to a fan they met on Patreon. The person I spoke with via email found the info through Tina One's Reddit account, and David's own Discord posts linking the public information together took less than 20 minutes. I blurred David's face and last name when tweeting regardless of his info being publicly accessible. I do not have David's address, phone number, or his email. There is no docs, nor should you look for one. I never encourage people to harass his family. To my knowledge, there's no evidence that his family has been harassed. Please do not go after them. I appreciate those who talked with me privately expressing their concerns. They helped me figure out where I went wrong. As for the majority of the situation, I went about this in some Ma of the words. What? If you keep reading in that voice, I'm going to punch you. I'm, I'm, I, I got one paragraph left. Let me finish. I got one paragraph uh, left. I got to finish. I can't, even, I can't even fucking drown you out anymore. It's so <laughs> My head is going to explode. Every word is like a fucking knife being shoved in my ear. Well, that's how this guy so reads. Bad. This guy, this guy, that's how this guy talks. <clears throat> now, <laughs> excuse me. Some of the worst ways possible. I have ma I made many missteps in handling this, such as my tweet that reads as threatening. I apologize to not only those close to me who have been hurt by my actions, but also my viewers. I'm sorry for how I behaved, as this isn't how anyone should act. I'm going to take some additional time to further learn from this. Thank you for taking time to read this and have a nice day. Holy shit. Okay. It's like really. fucking chills or chills. What, what was that guy called? Chills, yeah. right? Number 15. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. like chills, but faster. It's yeah. like you're listening to chills on 2.5. Yeah. Oh, the other it's thing that pisses me off about Duff Painter is his aspect ratio and his videos. He makes it like that ultra wide thing. It's not relevant, but it fucking pisses. I, I remember that pisses me off. What? Uh, talk, talk about that more. Hi. So he doesn't use 16.9. He uses like that ultra wide one that like movies use. 
Uh-huh. So and then and then a lot of his videos will be showing other people's videos that aren't at that aspect, and it's like just fucked. I don't know. I'm sorry. It just pisses me off. Okay. It just makes him come across as like smug, like ugh, I'm gonna do this fancy shit. Well, my thing with these guys, right, is. The problem that, like, I'm looking at this guy's channel right now, and obviously I can only see what's popular, and, you know, that on their channel. But it's like, <laughs> I don't know. These people aren't smart, bro. They should, they, like, it's going to sound like, obviously, this guy's got way more subs right, than us, right? Keep talking. I need and, to grab something. So keep talking. Well, yeah, like, obviously, we this, get guy's got way more, this guy's got way more subs than us or whatever. But it's like, bro, you're not smart. Stay in your lane. Just talk about your TV shows and shit like that, right? Like, I'm even, I'm looking. So, like, I've heard, like, I don't know who the fuck this person was. And they're talking about them being in commentary. But, like, the only things that I see on their channel are the big commentary topics, right? So, like, Boy in a Band, uh, fucking. Yeah. Well, while you're saying that, that, I have. That's my thing. I just want them to stay in their fucking lane. Like, if you like just review your art bro <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stop telling people how to try like they, they can't trace <laughs> you said boy in a band so i i went and i just grabbed a quick death peanut clip just to give context of how this guy sound, sounds so you can hear it beavers since he's been gone in his absence he leaves a legacy that might be tarnished by recent accusations were the warning signs always there and we didn't know or is there a lot more to the story that hasn't been covered hello i'm daft <laughs> and this is boy in a band how the abuser. fuck how the fuck does he edit that and Hello? not realize that it sounds that easier. bad? I don't get it. It would make what? editing easier because you got to point. You, 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 there's more yeah, points for you. Cut. Yeah, but like, how can you listen to that? Right? <laughs> Think to yourself. Yep, that's it. How and then maybe again, subs? like I say, I was gonna say maybe you know he's got 259k subs. Maybe I'm the guy that's wrong. Right? Maybe, I mean, maybe that's what people want. <laughs> Dude, sounds like that in real life. Like when he's with a girl, he's like, "You are a good no little girl." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Suck, daddy's cock. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm naked under my <laughs> robe. <laughs> He sounds like a, a sociopathic android. <laughs> I can't feel any empathy. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really like this guy mainly because of how he talks. I'll just be completely honest. Uh, the way he talks in videos are annoying. First time I ever heard him was on that Mama Max video where they had a bunch of YouTubers on to uh, talk about uh, Mama Max irrelevant takes. And um, yeah, he just he stood out like a sore thumb. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? This guy it sounds weird. Uh, and yeah, that's, uh, he's been, he's part of that weird community with Just Stop and Mango and all these people. Uh, we've talked about them before. Uh, they're all very weird. They're all very incestuous and they're always in everybody's business. I didn't know they existed. Yeah. The animation yeah, community. Yeah. yeah. Mitch, what do you know about the animation community? Oh, uh, lately, not much. No, I stopped following it years ago. No, it was just basically... When I used to follow it, it was basically people that would make anime, uh, quote unquote, animated videos about like their life. Uh, when it, really it was just comic strips put in a video, but they'd call it animation. And was there a lot of gay drama that came with it? Um, sometimes they tried to remain. What I only remember a couple, like yeah, with Jaden's face reveal, that was a bit. There was a bit of drama behind that. Mm-hmm. I think from memory it was because she went to VidCon and then um, another one called it. It's Alex Clark was there. He did a video on VidCon and he left her face in his video, I think, which she didn't want. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that was how her face got revealed. But my argument against that was like, dude, you went to VidCon. Like if it wasn't him, someone else would have posted it. Like your face is fucking out there once you're at a public forum meeting your fans. But yeah. So yeah. But anyways, oh. I act- go ahead, Beavers. Oh, I was just going to say, my thing with, uh, the only thing that I knew about the art community is at some point, there was a big hubbub about the odd ones out and Jaden Animation, and one of them oh. was a piece of shit. <laughs> I can't remember which one was a piece of shit. And oh, so that's how long it's been. Was When I left, they were cool with each other. No, nah, I think they were still cool with each other, but the argument that people were making was, 
that they they've essentially maybe that's why i don't know about them the art community these guys art critique whatever community story time whatever the fuck it is yeah that was a word um, for story time yeah 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 they have formed a community that is based on collaboration with each other yeah. and based on everybody being a nice guy right mm -hmm. and i can't remember what the drama was about but it was essentially that one of them was a piece of shit and they were like saying well that's the problem with your community because if one of you is a piece of shit or is lying in your stories or blah 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 it it brings it qu brings into question the entire thing that you're doing i yeah. remember that was there was something about that back in the day that's all i know about them i thought these channels died out to be honest i remember they were like there were shitty channels like this in 2016 and i suppose <laughs> these bigger channels today with like 200k are those shitty channels that i knew about in 2016 you know yeah. what I mean? and i just stopped paying attention to them yeah because like every Every dude and the uncle was trying to be like, uh, like Turkey Tom, even, you know, he had his little, you know, when he was doing his commentary, there's a little cartoon character and he's doing the little animation thing. There yeah. were a whole lot of them like that back in the day. And most of them were shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Apparently yeah, was... some of them made it through the filter. Yeah. Um, so moving on, uh, let's talk about uh, Doc on the I radio. Just want, I just want these people to know that in my eyes, I'm trying to figure out. Mm, yeah, in my eyes, you guys are a step below Digi Bro. Right? Oh, damn! Wow. Because isn't it Digi, Digi Me now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> at least that guy fucking shows his face on his videos and talks shit about crap I don't care about. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about uh, Doc on the. And radio. I bet you all furries as well. I bet you all furries. <laughs> I bet you all furry freaks. Fucking weirdos. And also, this is something that I can ask Mitch because he knows about the animation stuff. That No, that, they weren't furries. They were no, not furries. That Hirabu, what's that thing? The Halibu whatever hotel. What's that thing called? Oh, Habbo Hotel. Isn't that for pedophiles? I don't know. Why the fuck would you ask me that? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. know. Hey, is this, uh, is this the place for pedophiles? <laughs> yeah, you'd know about this thing. <laughs> Pretty sure I read somewhere that that thing that shows for pedophile and like on all well, of it was their like Club Penguin. Like it was aimed at a certain age group, but older people infiltrated it because they're like, "Oh, that's where the kids are." Yeah, yeah. I'm not calling you pedophiles. I'm just saying you're pedophile adjacent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Fevers! All right, Matt, back on track. Drag all right, yeah, please, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Doc on the Radio. Uh, guys, we watched the uh, Doc on the Radio interview last night after our live stream. Um, what did you guys think about that? Uh, uh, very entertaining. I thought it was a very good stream. Well, great input, Mitch. Kudos, <laughs> Whoa. bro. Um, well, you do better, huh? Yeah, I can. The guy, okay. uh, who's the guy that made the video again, Matt? Just stop. Just Frankston. stop doesn't believe or stand by anything he says <laughs> he, he buckled under the smallest amount of pressure from the guys on that stream 100%. they were like they were like don't you understand that this uh that this is this and, the, and then he's like yeah yeah you know now that i think about it, yeah i agree with you like you didn't yeah. even try argue your point and he couldn't ask her any uh, answer any questions like oh so why did you talk about that he's like oh, i don't know just it, it was really, he really rolled over like he really just fucking fell over and was just like yeah you know what guys have sex with me you're right Here's my, <laughs> let me open my it's legs my for you yeah let me open my legs for you and just turn to the side and you guys can just get in right here but i 100 percent think that okay so hear me out right i think that this video must have been a collaborative effort right between the yeah, yeah, sure. and the reason the reason I say that is, you know, when he when he was doing the video, there are there are points where he did the original edit edit, and then he comes in and he says, "Oh, editing, uh, whatever the fuck his name is here, right?" And when he does that, it's because he has glossed over something in the video that deserves explanation, right? 
and when when you look at that thing it's uh it, it adds defense for the other parties right not his story that he's trying to put across and this is yeah. a so way example, that he makes that video the whole thing is editing really like <laughs> no but what i'm saying is he's coming in and doing that so what i feel like what happened is he made the original video right yeah and he passed it around his group the guys that yeah. wanted this out and they probably told him oh this is a fucking great idea right good video and then i think the reason that he he buckled so quickly is i think he went and he listened back to it right and there were yeah. those things that he didn't address and he felt like he had to because if he didn't address those the video is actually stronger right if yeah. he doesn't address you know like when he shows the screenshots of them having that political conversation right right yeah and then he comes in and he says, oh, editing guy here. And he then shows the screenshots and he explains the situation. If he, ke- if he doesn't include that, his video is far stronger as a, a smear piece. Right. But I feel like yeah. he made a smear piece and then he looked at it afterwards and thought, oh, shit, I need to address these things in the video because it looks kind of weird that I'm not addressing them. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah. I definitely think there was somebody behind the scenes that was maybe pushing him towards making but it. What I mean is how it's weird how he does it that way. Like, oh, here's me in the editing future is that people usually do that when they do live action pieces and it looks obvious when they go back and reshoot it, whatever. So instead they just quickly do a voiceover like, oh, me in editing here. But because he doesn't do that and it is like his picture or whatever, he didn't need to do those insert editing bits. He could have literally just rewrote that bu- that part and changed it and no one would have been any the wiser. I, 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 I it's, think it's a weird he choice. Would- if he would have just covered the sunny stuff and not connect, tried to connect it to LS Mark, I think that would have been a better video. Because I think you make some good points with the sunny stuff, where Sonny uh, went into a voice chat with this other guy, uh, whose name I can't fucking remember, Doofus Retard or something. And <laughs> uh, fucking uh, this Doofus Retard says something about trans people, and Sonny's like, oh, you're talking... You said something transphobic. You need to apologize. Mm-hmm. And this guy starts panicking, like he's on he's on like a, 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 a the stand, <laughs> like he's being interrogated, like his whole life is yeah. going to end. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it was pretty it, funny it, to listen like, to. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, reset. I need to reset real quick. Like, yeah, I did it. Okay, uh, guys, I did it. I did it. Okay, I did it. Uh, and he this this sunny guy gets this guy to donate one hundred dollars to a trans uh, uh, charity. That's hilarious. Uh, but my issue with Sonny is he goes on Doc on the radio stream and he doubles down about the transphobia when he should have just been like, yo, those were, that was for the lols. I got him to donate to a fucking trans charity. That's funny. Ha 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 ha. No, he fucking be like, no, he was transphobic and he should, uh, he like, he should have apologized and blah, blah. Like that's, that's retarded in my opinion. No offense to Sonny. Uh, I've been trying to get this guy on now recording to talk to him because I want to talk to him. Um, but, um. Yeah, he's not. Um, I can't get in touch with him because his Twitter's suspended and uh, his Discord is weird. So, uh, Sonny went the whole transphobia thing. He doubles down, right? That's. I just think that's dumb. He should have just been like, "Yo, this is funny. I did a troll. Ha ha ha." I watched Sonny's videos on Daft Pina. He has a very big vendetta against Daft Pina, rightfully so. And uh, his whole thing was like, "Yo, if you're saying slurs and stuff, as long as like the person's cool with it, like." it's all copacetic it's all fine so i don't understand why he's got this big fucking transphobia uh boner for this guy but i don't know he has a vendetta against that pina this guy apparently is a part of that penis team so maybe that's where the vendetta goes i'd like to ask him some questions about that if he would ever want to join us uh but i wanted to talk one thing uh about doc on the radio real quick uh, I talked to uh, Just Stop in the DM, and he said oh. uh, he said he said he was a complete mess during Doc stream. Uh, he was told it was going to be a more structured discussion, uh, though. To be honest, he was bad. He's always been bad at live debates in general. Uh, but then Team joins and others came in, and it all derailed. So that that was kind of his take on uh, Doc on the with the Doc on the radio thing. I guess he just kind of felt overwhelming. Uh, I learned it that did, was... but but hold on, it didn't. I've listened to that stream. It didn't seem like a dog pile. It wasn't a dog pile. No, he's there, just, there I... weren't people like screaming at him from all different angles. Except like once, when, 
<laughs> yeah, except <laughs> once at the, towards the end. But like if, when Nick and them were asking him questions, like when Nick was talking to him, everybody else was pretty much quiet apart from Keem, like throwing in a little something. He can say that, but in reality, um, he just couldn't defend his points. Like he can say he was bad at like debating online, but he wasn't really debating. He was just yeah. there to explain something. You know what I mean? It's not like somebody's attacking your world view and you need to defend this yeah. for your honor. Whatever. It's just like, why did you think this was a good idea? Insert why you think it was a good idea. All right, buddy, tap you on the ass, send you on your way. But he couldn't do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, the funniest part was, though, when fucking um, they were like, well, would you talk to LS Mark about this? And, and Just Stop was like, yeah, but I'd like to do it in private. And they're like, what the <laughs> <laughs> dude, everyone started yes. just fucking being like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you just why now? Like that that that's too late. It's too late, you know? Too late for something <laughs> like that. Well, I just love the I don't know, it's like the the is it entitlement? Because it's like he goes out and he makes this video very public, right? Something that really shouldn't one be spoken about at all, but like in the public, making a video of it, dragging a guy, uh, essentially calling the woman a bitch and calling him a fucking weak, limp-handed man that's just getting dragged along for the ride. Yeah. Uh, and then he's like, yeah, if this guy has any problems with what I said, I'd like to talk to him in the DMs. We could do it in private. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. It's like he realized it's a bit too late. At all. Maybe this should have been private. Yeah, because remember this now. This guy convinced um, Ellis Mark that to join him in a voice chat with Daft Pina and another person oh my God, that was about so bad. a cartoon script. This was a he he used the ruse of a cartoon script to get him in a voice chat to then talk and be like, "So, what's your relationship like? What's going on with uh, Veronica?" Blah 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 blah. And we're like, "Yo, can we record by the way?" And he's like, "No." No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, like, yeah, like I said this in the reaction bit. Like, imagine you're a big YouTuber, right? Very successful YouTuber, and you get you get pulled into a voice chat with these guys, and they want to talk to you about this one thing. And then when you get in, there, they say, "Okay, we're not here to talk to you about this. We have to talk to you about something serious, and we'd like to record it." No, no. <laughs> in what world does that go well for me? Yeah, that's that's why I think I think that's why I think Daft Pina was had a huge part in this because I, I he was there and like I, they were all taking notes in this shit and like what the whole thing just sounds retarded. I think this is one of the worst uh, commentary videos ever in this situation, like in uh, for this like big of a channel to do something like this. And I I don't know, I'm kind of speechless at this point because. It's completely who? and utterly ridiculous to upload. Okay, Matt, who is Corey? Corey, what do you mean? The C R O E Y. Wasn't he involved in this as well? I th I'm not sure. That might have gotten lost in the shelf for me. Was he the other one in the call? Because I know there was another person in the call besides that, Pina, LS Mark, and just stop. I think it, I think it was him. He's he's the guy with like the yellow face. And purple hair and his profile pictures wearing glasses. I'm pretty sure he was involved in it. Okay. I wanna know I wanna know how he's involved because he's he's small. He's like a four K channel. Mm -hmm. I wanna know which whose ass was he kissing to get into this? <laughs> was Who he a Dolph Pina guy or was he a Definitely not an LS Mark guy? No, oh, definitely not that. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know, it's just it's just it's so bizarre to me. Like I say, these guys like, just stay in your lane and review your little gay fucking animated TV shows. Like, don't don't try and talk about life and shit like that. It, it's clear that you guys, you guys are clueless of the basics. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Uh, also to note, right, um, on, in Just Stop's video, I forgot to mention this when we were reacting to it. He, put out, he puts out some tweets that involve uh, the guy Veronica cheated on. Uh, Alice Mark with. All right. He censors the name, but the tweets that he used are still up. So anyone who reads those, those tweets can just put them into Twitter and find the tweet. And they did. 
and they found out that the guy's name is help me out here, Mitch Pirate something. Uh, Rice Pirate. Rice Pirate. Yeah, they found out that Veronica cheated on Ellis Mark with a Rice Pirate. Uh, yeah, which know we any- didn't find out until after the reaction. I was like, no fucking way. Yeah. Do you, what do you know about Rice Pirate, Mitch? Uh, he's an animator uh, from way back in the days of Newgrounds.com from like the early 2000s. I, I think he goes far back as the early 2000s. And um, then all, they all migrated from Newgrounds to YouTube and he was one of the first big animators um, before YouTube changed the, watch, the algorithm thing to become more watch time based. Yeah. He did a really great video about that too when, it, when that happened. Yeah. All right. So, Beavers, uh, if you were in just... Hi. If you were in Just Stop's position right now, what would you do? Um, I'm sure his bread and butter is making his, uh, like I said, gay little animation videos about TV shows and shit. Stay yeah. in your lane. Just stay in your I'd lane. I'd go and make a video. I would go and make a story time video about, and it'd be titled, The Day I Fucked Up. And yeah. it would just be an animated thing no. about how we went on Fox no, Live stream and got fucked. He literally writes smart, like, that's obviously great for making fun of him. But, <laughs> like, the realistic option for him is to just be like, yeah, I don't need to do this commentary shit and just stay in your lane, buddy. <laughs> just go well, on like this never happened. He has taken down the video, right? The video is gone. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, it's it no is. longer there. And he put out a community You predicted post. that correctly. He put out a community post about 10 hours ago. I'm going to read it. Uh, you guys stop me when you want to comment on it. Uh, last night, This is a long one, by the way, about three paragraphs. Three very long paragraphs. Last, last night, I decided to unlist my video about Veronica. Now, I've deleted it. This is because I've come to the realization that it was incredibly stupid, unnecessary, and counterproductive to talk about Mark and his relationship publicly. To begin with, the call I set up with him before the video didn't really help at all. Even if I told him he could leave at any time and told him what it was about immediately, bringing him in like that would obviously make him hostile from the beginning. Uh, No shit. I only came to see that recently. You should have seen that uh, when you did it. I should have just spoken to him by myself without any preparation. That's what I'm planning to do after this post goes up. As for the relationship with Veronica, I didn't have the right to pry and should have left that alone. I wanted to help because I'm an optimistic idiot that hates the idea of people suffering. I especially, uh, especially ones I've known for a good period, for a good period. But I really don't know the extent of the relationship. I have my judgments. Yeah. Okay. So he's such a great friend, and he's he's worried about his his buddy and how he's getting treated and stuff, right? And so his solution to that is this guy is now married to this woman, and his solution to reduce the stress in his friend's life is by making a very public video calling her a piece of shit. Yeah. Do you not think, you not think that's going to make his life worse? If uh, she yeah. is a piece of shit? Yeah. Uh, Nick brought up a point. Like, what if you actually convinced, uh, convinced Ellis Mark to divorce her? He, you're, you are assuming that he's the type of guy who doesn't have a prenup with her. Therefore, you're basically, you know you basically would cause him to uh, uh, go through a horrible process, uh, cost him a lot of money maybe, in a, in a crazy, anxious situation. And uh, Just Stop off, off obviously just uh, rolled over on that one and, you know, just let Nick tap it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's like, it's, you know, he's making more of the allegation that it's like uh, emotional abuse and manipulation, right? Mm-hmm. But like, just take it to a physical standpoint for a second, right? What if, what if uh, I knew some? What if uh, the Mark guy and this woman were in an abusive relationship, <laughs> like a physically abusive one? And he goes and he makes this video and he says, "Yeah, she beats him every day." Do you not think that's going to result in him getting more beatings? Yeah, I think so. so like, yeah. So it's the same with the emotional abuse, right? You, right. if, if she's indeed such a piece of shit, you pointing it out in public is not all it's going to do is make it worse for him. He clearly did not want to listen to you when you had that voice call or whatever with him. Yeah. Like bringing it in the public is not going to what it's going to make expecting? it worse, It'll make it way worse. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're just expecting him to pull up your video and just be like, yeah, I agree with all of that. 
Bye, honey. You know what I mean? I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. Bye. I'm gone. Does it my say buddy on the internet. What's my up? buddy on the internet said you're a piece this, of shit. I'm out. Does it say there, Matt, that he blamed his stressful life? Is that what is that what I heard? Uh, he was feeling so- uh, Let me see that. I'm in the video. Even if I told him he could leave another time in the beginning, I only came to see that recently. I should have just spoken to him by myself without any preference. That's what I'm planning to do after all this. Pres- I don't know. Um, no. Talk about Mitch is a retard. Continue, yes. Matthew. I have my judgments about it as an outsider looking in. Having spoken to several people who were closely involved, who believed it to be terrible, but assumptions are cancerous to making a solid video. And I had way too many, even with what I had. I didn't see that until I, it was pointed out. To be honest, throughout the video production, I was iffy about the whole thing and kept showing it to more and more people who kept encouraging it. So I thought I was doing the right thing, but I've come to see what I, I, I see. I, was I don't think he showed that to a lot of people. He all right, and DMs with me. He I said he showed he it. Showed- I he think said, he showed that to Dolph Pita and that Corey dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. He <laughs> says in the DMs with me, he, he, showed, showed, it wrong to, people. he sh- showed it to six people. But I think Daft Pina was like the major force <laughs> pushing this. Daft Pina and his friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody takes one objective look at that video and just says, but then again, I think they're all idiots, right? Yeah. I think they, their side of the community are just a bunch of retards. So, like, maybe he did show it to a bunch of people, but I'm more in, like, the logics, the the more logically grounded, like, side of me wants to say that he showed it to Darth Pina and his friends. But in yeah. all reality, with how retarded these people are, he could have showed it to six completely different people and they thought that it was a good idea. Yep. Uh, he continues, I keep hearing that I didn't think about how this would affect people at all, but I wanted to get as many perspectives as I could and I kept receiving positive feedback. I tried not to create an echo Pause. chamber. Pause. Oh. Right. So you made, you made a video about the relationship status of two people, one person that you don't like, and your friend, in quotation marks, and you didn't think about how this video would affect people. Why were you making the video then? Yeah. Right? Continue. Uh, by showing it to people who had no involvement as well as ones that did, but in the end, it didn't seem to help. I went on a live stream last night to discuss my new thoughts, which were still developing at the time. And for those that have seen it, they know I was a mess. I was conflicted about taking the video down or not for the sake of, or of the other p- uh, people like Dubis who were helped through its production. That's the retard. I, I, was, I, I remember Dubis. That's his name. And after the video's release, I received six or seven DMs from new people who were scared to speak about V or Sunny, who are were friends of Mark's as well but were emboldened by my video to do so. It made me believe the video had attained a new meaning beyond what I initially created it for. But regardless, Mark is at the center, and on that front, I completely messed up. It taints the rest of the video, and what it wants to say, I still believe Sunny and V are incredibly toxic people that have done bad things seemingly way more than I was aware of, but that doesn't make the video worth keeping up. I want anyone who had experience with them to feel like they can, but that video shouldn't be the pariah of, for, what, of, for, for that kind of thing in the first place. I've heard from a lot of friends that they think I should, uh, what they think so I should pause? do. Uh, I'm almost done. Okay, but like previously, I didn't pause in the right spot, but previously he's now said um, that he doesn't feel like the video is worth uh, keeping up. What does he mean by that? Is it not uh, worth the headache that he's receiving from it? So the the part where he stands by the parts he did on with Sonny, but the parts about Ellis Mark, he doesn't stand by. So he doesn't think it's worth keeping that up. It, it doesn't outweigh what he's done, the the shit he's done, the bad things, the the shitty parts that he's uh created does uh weighs more than what he sees the Sonny part as the good part that has uh, reached a lot more people. Uh, okay, I get you. Okay. Pushing, right, back and, pushing back and forth, up and down, releasing, uh, release a statement, don't say anything, go on the live stream, get off the live stream, say this, say that, don't say this, don't interact with that person, talk to this person. It's been a back and forth like that since I started working on the video. I brought up people on to help, took them off, found evidence, uh, dropped evidence. I didn't think it was substantial enough, rewrote the script a million times, but now I'm going to do what I think I should after hearing from everyone. 
I'm taking down the video, encouraging anyone that's scared to speak up about V or Sunny to do so. Stopping what I started and uh, talking to Mark one on one. I'm not a drama hungry person. Bullshit. I hope I haven't <laughs> irreparably hurt everything around me. Thanks for reading. Dude, there's something about this fucking font that like fucks with my eyes. It makes me fucking. He was foaming at the mouth for drama. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. Dope. This video is all uh, and drama. I, I love how he he says that he's like. You know, after considering what everybody has said, I've decided that I'm going to take it down. No, you are panicking. You are in a death spiral. And you, you are like, I need to do something. I need to get rid of this fucking video. This didn't go how I wanted it to go. Yeah. Like, don't pretend <laughs> like, don't pretend like people changed your view completely, right? On what you were doing. You just got caught. You thought that, they were just going to be brain dead idiots like yourself watching the video, right? Yeah. Like, no, he got caught, and that's why he take, he's taking it down. He doesn't. Yeah. Want like, did he think it was just going to stay in the animation community where, yeah, they're all dead shits? But then it it, it flowed over. Yeah, it to went out of it. Community. It went out and of then... it, and he suddenly he's like, uh oh, yeah, guys like Nick Diorio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. People that are smart enough to go, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, there was one DM I, uh, I, I'm reading that uh, I think I should read because uh, it kind of gives more of a reason why he did the video. Uh, and Matt's leaking DMs! No. And a reply to me, he says, <laughs> I, I, told, I told him I was going to go over the DMs. And a reply to me, he <laughs> says, I, I wanted to make the video because I thought Mark was in a bad situation and he wasn't listening to others. So as a last resort, I'd make a plea to him using the testimony and evidence of several others who felt the same way. I also wanted to expose the actions of V and Sunny, who uh, hurt several people, but trying to reach out was the main reason. I wasn't close with him, but I also just had an empathetic want not to see him in a bad situation that was seemingly just being worse. In retrospect, though, I see it wasn't my place to air the info of Mark's relationship out there, and he wouldn't listen to anyone. It was his decision to make. Also, I, I'd like to. I also, like I said, the call with him was poorly conceived and didn't help. Uh, and there was one he worked, part... He worked on it for th over 30 days. Yeah. Stop saying that you now see that it was, that it was wrong. This isn't like you fight live stream or just recorded, like, your voice over gameplay, right? Your video was, a was animated. Your video had little sound effects and everything. You spent tens of hours if not hundreds of hours working on this video and you expect people to believe that yeah i got a little bit of pushback and now my view has changed completely like do you think people are that stupid yeah. i really hope people aren't that <laughs> stupid when i when i told him like that i thought the sunny part was like the better part of the video and that he should have just made the video around that he said yes i still agree with that portion of the video and that's part of why I was reluctant to take it down during the stream. I heard it from several other people that were affected and didn't want to make them feel invalid or like they couldn't speak up. However, it was surrounded by uh, everything about the relationship, which tainted the other points. So I came to the conclusion that it was best to take down. So do you think that maybe he should just revamp the video into a video against Sunny and upload that? Just go, yes, uh, go for content. Yeah, for content, <laughs> just go against Sunny. I don't care. What did Sonny do? He he made a guy cry. Yeah, he made a That's guy it. cry. That's it. Do you think? Do you think Just Stop will do a follow up video to this? Just Stop. Make a video on me. I tried to get a drunk man to drink his piss. <laughs> make a video on me. Just Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, encouraging a man that was drunk and high off his ass to drink his piss. I don't, think, I, don't, human being. I don't think that community is ready to look at our community. Like, their whole drama is, oh my god, they got married, and I don't think they should get married. <laughs> they take, like, no, just a even, peak. Yeah, it's a man well, even the Even the fucking... The, the guy that said some... <laughs> he said, well, essentially, apparently, what he said was he was tired of seeing the Tumblr-type trans people on his Twitter feed, right? Yeah. Which I don't think is that bad of a statement to say. They're annoying, yeah. right? Um, yeah. But, like, then they troll the kid, and they're like, they troll the kid, and the kid overreacts, right? This guy overreacts. 
He should have just said, fuck you, I'm sticking to my guns. This is what I believe. But he thought he was going to get cancelled or whatever. Who knows? And he goes on this little spiral. And then what was the other point that he brought up against the sunny guy was that he sent a... Okay. He says, <laughs> fucking hell. And this is the other thing about his video. It's disingenuous, right? He yeah. says that the sunny guy sent a topless photo <laughs> to this person. The guy, you couldn't see the guy's nipples. It was just it his was shoulders. Just, it, yeah. just his shoulders. I've <laughs> seen photos like that with my just my shoulders. Yeah. Also, fat fat dudes don't like wearing shirts, bro. They, it's like it gets <laughs> tight. It gets tight, bro. Like it feels like your chest is constricting. So they like to take the shirt off and let the let the man boobs breathe. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't give tips to that idea, all right? I, <laughs> I like that he wears shirts while he streams. You gotta let the boobs breathe, my brother. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like so. He sent that photo to somebody, and they felt uncomfortable. Yeah, he gave you creepy eyes. So what? It's not yeah. like he sent you a nude or, or something like that that would make you feel uncomfortable. So, like, again, what is what is really his whole point? What else did the sunny guy do again, Matt? Is that it? I think you got uh, the gist of it, really. Uh, I'm sure he, there's other stuff. He's made a couple videos on Daft Tina, um, but, I, but like, I, I honestly yeah, don't know. They are far worse people... I could make a much more substantial video about people that are in our community that are still around. Yeah. I've done far worse things than that. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's no. fucking gay. <laughs> I, th I think what That's this so was, right? what this, what this was is, uh, the Salvo drama happened with the P stuff and all that. Right. And it was a big drama in our community that fired everybody up and everybody was like going like uh, going to work, basically, right? Everything kind of died down. There's been no spur drama lately, and then this video pops up, and it's just like a, it, it's like a, a a new wave of uh, here we go again, boys. Let's do it. And then this person's no, screaming, no, that no, person's no, no, screaming. no, no. And then... I think I think though, right? Like when I say it's gay, okay, I mean that him make their whole side of the community is gay, right? Like yeah, this whole trying to get involved with people's personal lives and getting upset with the guy because he said he doesn't like Tumblr Sisters. whatever, that's gay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean for monetization. I just, I just meant for the pitchforks. No, I've said, I've said that word lots of times on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, cool. um, but no, I, I, I think it's, it's nice that the community covered it because you're pointing how, how, how fucking dumb this guy's. And you know what? Maybe this opens them up. Maybe we can go snoop around their community and find more dumb. I hope so. Guys. That's why I want Sonny to come on. I want him to talk to uh, that do doofus, doofus. What the fuck was his name? <laughs> Doofy. I'm a doofus. Officer Doofy. <laughs> he sounds like a retard. Is doofus a retard? I don't. I don't know. What? What was his <laughs> name again? Was it doofus? My name doofus. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't. Oh, whatever. I, I, I don't know. Mm. I, I just think. Look, if you're listening, Doofus and Sunny, we'd like to have you guys doofus on. Doofus or Doofus or, or <laughs> Dingleberry or what the fuck ever your name is, bro. Look, it's I'm a huge doofus. fan. Obviously, I know your name. Like, I want. I like your animations. No, not really. Uh, but yeah, come on and uh, <laughs> tell your side of the story. We'll hear you out. I invited um just stop on in the DMs. I, I invited him to come on, uh, but I told him I was like, look, we were very uncharitable to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're too nice, Matt. You shouldn't have done that. Why didn't you lay the trap out? No, I, uh, you pussy. I was like, yeah, well, you I, should have done to him what he did to uh, to Mark or Blake or whatever yeah. the fuck his name is. Yeah, <laughs> and like they'll be like, hey, we want to talk to you about this, and then we get him in here, and we're like, by the way, we'll be recording. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't even tell him that. Just let him hear the now recording bot. And he's like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, just but, uh, see, how, see how defensive he gets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to make a long story short, he respectfully declined. Uh, but he's very nice. In... <laughs> he, he was very nice in the DMs. You know, uh, obviously he hasn't seen what we've said about him, but you know, nonetheless, seems like a nice kid. 18 years old. Uh, it makes a lot more sense now. I thought he was maybe like 23 or 22. Uh, he's actually mm. 18, so I could see him making dumb videos like this. But he should really. Uh, be more responsible with his YouTube channel. Uh, making a stupid video like this could hurt your income, could hurt your reputation. Uh, oh, it's hurt his reputation. 
Yeah. Well, this I is think... what happens when young people blow up on YouTube way too early. No, because yeah. you know what's going to happen? And too quickly. Anytime he has a bad... This is the thing. It's the same thing like I told Selva about doxing, right? Yeah. It's not worth the headache, buddy. Because anytime you now fuck up, people have downloaded this video. People know about this video. Anytime you fuck up in the future, they will bring this back out. Yep. You're wrong on a situation, they'll bring the situation back out. I don't I don't think I don't think this guy can do commentary anymore, to be honest. I think he's yeah. he's pretty much burnt that. Uh yeah, I, I don't know either. Uh I will say though, um before the video was deleted, I looked at the comments and they were very, very pro Just Stop. Uh, they were all about Just Stop. So he has a very massive community that are all about him. So I don't think it would hinder his process. As long as he no, but that's the thing. He, that's what I was saying. He made this video for the idiots that watch him. Yeah. And he knows they're idiots. He knows they'll just eat up whatever the fuck he says because they can't think for themselves. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised at that at all, right? It's like if you go to a fucking I'm Alex video or something and you go read his comments back in the day or whatever, it's all pro I'm Alex, go I'm Alex, such a good guy. Whatever, yeah. Right? It's because they make their content and they word their content for the idiots that they know that watch them. Kind of sick. Yeah. No, it, what, should, what should we get our idiots to do? <laughs> That's been, that was a joke. I think our idi idiots should interact with their idiots and create more content. Yeah, yes, you guys covered. have been slacking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need Smaggle to start an animation channel. Oh my god, you can know? you imagine? He'd fit right in. He's got the voice yeah. for it too. No, yeah. you know what? Smaggle, Smaggle's voice is so brilliant. I'd watch his animation if it was a stick figure. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I'm not there for the animation content. I'm just there to listen to him speak like an idiot. I agree. Well, uh, any closing statements about this situation? Um, uh, go, Mitch. I was just surprised at how not surprised I was that when I heard there was animation drama going on and Duff Pina wasn't in the title and you go into the video and, th oh, there's, there he is, there's Duff Pina. He's always, like, latched onto it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Duff Pina is always there. I hope he continues to make dumb videos so we can cover him more. I'm looking forward to covering him again. I would gladly talk to him as well because I really would yeah, like I, to hear I, that I, voice. I would love to have him on. There are well, some things I'd like to ask him about, like a few years ago, the shit he would get up to. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. I think if, if anything has come out of this situation, right? It's like Keem said to. Um, fuck, I forget their names so quickly. Like Keem said stop. to the. Just stop, right? Like Keem said to just stop. You're now fair game. Yeah. I think that's I think that's what you've accidentally done to your community. Yeah. I think you yeah, have a bunch of the Yeah, you have a bunch of DGENs now that are just and you know we've got loggers in our community. Yeah, yeah you caught our attention. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you, you caught their attention, so uh, this ought to be interesting. Yeah. Maggot uh, is about to get what very, very busy. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, fucking angry what? slug and maggot addicts about to go to work. What's yeah. a logger for the people who are listening that may not know? Just uh, for them. Someone who just obsessively logs uh, someone on the internet. It's usually okay, called cool. a logger. Uh, yeah, a lot a logger. of you know, like a kiwi farmer stuff like that. You know. Yeah, we got a lot of those. Like, like even uh, the ones that aren't public. There's a lot of people that just watch the content on this side of the the aisle. Yeah, that literally they just log shit. Because they follow and they story comment arcs. and interact, they just log it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or they use their logging as uh, content. Uh, for instance, Flamenco was a, it, well, maybe still is, but was a uh, Ethan Ralph A logger. Augusto Kinoche is an Ethan Ralph A logger. E Ethan Ralph has a lot of A logger. Uh, yeah, that's um, usually what they do. They uh, go find information about Ethan Ralph, what he's doing recently, what, what's going on. And they make funny jokes and tweet about it. That's usually what the A-logger does. And then there's ones that are on QB farms, like, just logging everything. How so, fucking yeah. bored do you have to be? It's the internet, man. You're never bored. <laughs> These are our people, Mitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we here at Now Recording uh, have nothing against the A-loggers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you mean, Mitch? Okay, let me ask you this, right? Let me ask you this, right? You're, you're talking shit about them, okay? But no. Like, 
Yeah, no, you no, were. Don't fucking think no, you, you were. Dick. You were. No. But what I'm saying is, when we cover something, what's easier for you? If you want to talk about Salvo, for example, do you want to go comb through all his tweets? Or would you rather just go to Mac and Edit's uh, There's Twitter. a whole thread ready to go that you have. Exactly. Wait, does that mean Boblax is a logger? No, Boblax uses the loggers. They give him the stuff and he puts it, makes them videos. Oh. He's... <laughs> Bobax used to be a logger. Bobax used to be a logger. He's just big enough now that he can use the. Now it's me. (laughs) Now I'm the logger. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, you're right. I would totally use the logger. See how it turns? I'm going to look into that. That's the best fucking thing I've heard all day. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to go use them. Uh, By the way, Smaggle kicking Keemstar from the the Dark on the Radio chat. uh, W or L? That is such a L. Okay, he killed the stream, right? Yes. Yeah, because like it, it definitely L. wasn't entertaining. Okay, but oh my god, like Tommy and them were all saying, if this was 2016, nobody would dare to do that. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, that's but Smaggle still away. would because he's an idiot. Bru- no, Keemstar, not in 2016. Keemstar, right? From what I've seen, I've never. Sp- well, I have been in voice chats with him, but I've never spoken to the guy like personally, personally, right? So I don't yeah. know him, no. But from what I've seen, and I've been around a while, Keemstar takes things very personally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Bro, that he, man can hold a fucking grudge. He blocked no matter me. how big or small. No, no. He blocked me because I fucking asked that Dan 240p guy if he wanted to come on shot from the point. And he, he didn't. Uh, Keemstar claimed I was stealing his fucking content because I asked, to, asked for to come on shot from the point. Dan 420, 240p. Do you know who that guy is? Do you know who Dan 240p is? No. No. Is he the guy that exactly. was going to quit Twitter? Yeah, it's the guy that was going to quit the commentary <laughs> yeah. community. And, he's and not Nick Dior is like, no, not Dan 2040p. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is fucking nobody, right? I get blocked because of that. Yeah, I understood a reference. Yay. Yeah, Keemstar takes everything personally. He blocked me before that because I sent a link to Nicholas DiOrio to show on Augie stream, which was a yeah. Dead on Dave uh, where Dead on Dave and Keem were going back and forth, and Keem looked bad. So he takes a lot of things personally. But back in 2016, I say 26 to 2018, this dude could really fuck you up with one tweet. Now, yeah. not not really. Do you, uh, think, do you think the problem with Keem, right, is that he created the Keemstar show, okay? Yeah. And in essence, the Keemstar show really shows Keemstar's pull within the commentary community. Yeah. The sub count, right? right? The viewership of the Keemstar show shows his pull in this community. Not talking yeah. about Drama Alert. Drama Alert, it's own thing. I'm sure there's millions upon millions of people that still watch it across TikTok and all that crap. But within the commentary community, his pull is a 20,000K YouTuber's pull. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that level of respect isn't there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you know, Smaggle. I mean, I think Smaggle. Let me put it to you this way. I don't think Smaggle would kick Doc on the radio out of a call. No. But he would yeah. kick Keemstar out of a call. He wouldn't kick Tommy C out of a call, but he would kick Keemstar out of a call. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think, I think that's got to be eating at Keem's ego a little bit. Just a wee bit. What was Drama Alert at? Two million? Uh, no. No, it's like at... Hold on. It's like at... Uh, oh, give me a second. The Kim's... You're talking about Kim's... The Drama Alert, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's at 5.5 <laughs> million. Oh, shit. So he's gone from, like, being 5,000 times mm-hmm. bigger than us right down to just 20 times bigger. Yeah. yeah. That would be a real kick in the nuts. Yeah. Also, Keemstar just literally like an hour ago is, made an announcement that he's starting a new podcast with a guy named Pat God. Pat, oh, you Pat know, God. everybody's stealing my idea. Who the fuck is Pat God? I don't know. Doesn't everybody's that happen every time Keemstar idea. starts a show with somebody? It's like, who the hell's that guy? And then they do it for a few months and then Keemstar kicks him out. That's the cycle. It's a YouTuber with over a million subscribers. Well, normally, normally what Keemstar does, right? Is, <laughs> yeah, normally what Keemstar does is you find somebody that has a bit of pull and it has a lot hey, of good That's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing. This guy, listen, this guy's, all right, this guy showed up four months ago. Uh, 
four months ago, and his he's already averaging like two million views a video. Oh, there we go. Now he maybe he deleted videos or something, but I, I don't know. August fifteenth oh, like- joined August fifteenth, twenty twenty two. Who the fuck is um, this guy? I don't know, maybe he's hip with the kids. I think so. He's got. I don't know what the fuck is this. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> all right, Keem, you found some. You found somebody that's. Well, fucking I mean, I mean, he up. did it with yeah, because literally he did it with he did it with um. So Banks, Keem saw, uh, not Banks. No, he, um, no, he did Space it with Banks. Salvo. No, he did it with oh. Salvo. Right, like. The, the only reason that Salvo was on that show is because Keemstar saw how much pull he had, he had in the commentary community. Yeah. Right? He wanted good graces. Um, and so he pulled him onto his show because that, by the transient property, gives Keemstar that level of clout within the community. And then now he's got another guy. Who... Did Salvo... Was it because Salvo outlived his usefulness? Uh, it's because things turned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, um, uh, Keem, good luck to you, sir. I uh, like you, part. Keem. I yeah, like don't you. block us. Block Matt. Hmm, don't block us. Uh, <laughs> advice from ju- advice for just stop. Uh, just just stop living. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. It's <laughs> <laughs> a joke. That's a joke. In Minecraft, well, the, stop living in Minecraft. Wanna, Get a real life. I wanted to address something that was in the live stream portion of this. Right, mm-hmm. I went back and I listened to it. There wasn't grooming stuff in the shot from the point server, okay? <laughs> Wait, what? I want to say that. What? Who okay. said that? Somebody said I was grooming. Uh, uh, somebody read, I think it was Mitch, read something in, from the chat, and somebody said um, Beavers has been grooming people since 2016. Yeah. Right? I, I, wait, no, this was on Dave's show. Yeah, okay. that's not is, is, is that yeah, yeah. This was Dave's show. This was Dave's. Show. No, somebody read it, right? And they were like, "He's been grooming people since 2016." And then I go ahead and I say, "Oh my god, I'm so glad that the logs from shot from the point have been taken down because there was some bad stuff in there." And yeah, it kind of seemed like I was talking about there was grooming? evidence of me grooming people, uh, now, so, which there wasn't. What about the accusations that you're uh, you're fake horny? Yes. I've explained this. Me and Bunny had beef on Twitter. I don't know if you saw. Yeah. Me and Bunny were fighting on Twitter earlier. I explained it to her. I had to make an account. I'm not that horny. Yeah, you yeah, just so don't that's want to fake horny, dude. That's a like, barrier. If you really were that's horny, a barrier you of had entry. To make an account, you would have already had one. But I'm saying yeah, but to barrier of entry, bro. Wait, to make an OnlyFans account, right? You got to put in a credit card number, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, too, too much credit effort. card number. No, too much effort. I had to create the profile. I was like, ah. that's way too much effort. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. At that you point, go, look, you look, it, she should have just sent you a nude at that point. Like, <laughs> no, that's the thing. I've now called her out and I've said I'm in the head house server and I have a channel called Beavers. Then just send me tit pics in there. One month, calling yeah. you out, bunny. One month of tit pics, one a day. <laughs> and after but the then month, you, you just that's way off. more effort for her. That's then she's got to do something every day for thirty days, and you just got to make an account. Yeah, but I got to put my credit card details into that. Yeah. And also, like I was, I was telling people in voice chat, right? I haven't reached that level yet where I'm willing to pay for Booba. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have to pay. She's giving you a free month. Yeah, but like I don't want to. I don't want to be involved for paying for Booba. I haven't. I haven't stooped that low yet. Have you even tried to make Everyone an account? Did. I don't even think you need to enter your credit card details until you go to pay for something. You have to enter in your credit. I have to enter in my credit card details because I'm being gifted a membership. Oh, so right. They wanna. It's like well, you, you at least get a tried. membership, and if you don't cancel in 30 days, then we'll recharge you, kind of deal or some shit like that. Yeah. Well, but no. Okay. Surprise, surprise! I'm not as horny as you guys thought I was. Mm, yeah. Well, you're no longer the alpha horny of the channel. You can take that battle if you want to, Mitch. I'll happily put that crown on. Well, guys, I think we've we've done enough today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank you, Beavers. Thank you, Mitch. Uh, I'm glad we were able to have this conversation. I think it was very fun. Uh, Make sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers on our new channel. Uh, we're getting there. We're making a lot of headway. Uh, We're very we're halfway there to like uh, watch hours. Uh, oh, and we we need about three hundred and 
or 250 more subs. So yeah, yeah. subscribe uh, and uh, keep watching our podcast. We're going to keep putting more out and uh, yeah, uh, eventually Toxic's going to be back and the, the whole, the band's going to be back together. You wait and see, sir. Uh, thank you so much guys. And remember now recording, uh, we're always re- recording. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, kids, uh, now we're going to match us after a date. We're always recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you go to Matt's house and you go, now yeah. recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just stop. Uh, find better friends. Goodbye. More like Ellis Mock, find better friends. I'm a pedophile.